yeah y'all at this point so much of my clothes are shein and fashion nova it's like it's ridiculous speaking of shein <laughs> here and welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to be doing another pack with me slash what's in my vacation bag because some stuff is already packed i still need to put some stuff in so we're gonna just merge the two together tomorrow is my flight to myrtle beach so let's do that and i know y'all probably thinking like because i thought it too like who she thinks she is like <laughs> i am kind of a travel agent but you know, it is what it is. And I will basically be doing the same thing that I did the last time, kind of taking things out and putting it back. As y'all can see, bag is so much smaller versus that big old Steve Madden bag that I had before, that green one. I was able to fit everything in here that I needed for the three, four days, three nights. I don't need to have a carry-on. I don't need to have a check bag. Everything is gonna fit in this personal and we're gonna keep it pushing. Okay, so what we we don't have like the most, I know I said this the last time, like we don't have the most things planned. Like I know we wanna go go-kart racing, we're gonna go to dinner, so, and then I, like a little bit of walking around type of, type of vibe. I've never been to Myrtle Beach, so I'm kinda expecting it to be something like, um, Atlantic City or like um, Virginia Beach. Th th I'm thinking it's gonna be that type of vibe. So let me just show y'all all the type of stuff that I have. So like I said, I'll just take it out one by one. So we'll just start off with the outfits that I have planned. This top is from Shein. This was in my last, this was not in my last haul, was it? I don't even know. I just recently got this from Shein. It says Sunday, it looks like a sweater but it's actually a really thin material, so I'm not gonna be hot. And I am gonna be pairing it with these Forever 21 denim shorts that I recently got. And I just realized it still has the little sticker inside the pocket. So I'm gonna put those two together. So I'm keeping it real chill and outfits that I could, you know, kind of wear wherever it is that we're gonna go. Because this is right on top, this is gonna be my pajama set. Listen, y'all, we have already decided. We have already decided because we are not, because we are not taking the biggest of bags. I said, listen, y'all, y'all gonna see me in maybe like one outfit, maybe two to go to sleep in. And once they said two, I said, okay, we on the same page. Like we, we here with it, you know what I mean? We here. American Eagle shorts. I did put these in my last video. I did not end up, well, did I end up wearing these? I don't think I ended up wearing these last week. So same shorts that y'all saw in the other ones, in the other video. And then I got this bodysuit from Shein. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but those are American Eagle. I think I didn't mention that. This bodysuit, really simple from Shein. Real cute, like a light peanut butter type of type of vibe. And I'm gonna pair it with my Adidas shoes that I'm actually wearing to the airport. I'll show you guys that in a second. This is one of the cover-ups that I wore to, no, this is one of the covers that I put inside of that other video. So as I told y'all all in that video that a lot of the stuff will be repeated. So yeah. And this is it, the long one. And so what I'm gonna do is put this with that same swimsuit that I said I was gonna put it with because I ended up wearing it, right? But we didn't even swim. We didn't even really get any pictures. So it was like, it felt like a waste. Like, it just felt like a waste. So that's, that's that, I guess. And then I'm gonna be taking this little purse that I got from Shein. Okay. I showed y'all this as well, just in case I didn't make this video. So this is that purse. And then on the inside, I just put a few things. I'm using this basically as storage. So on the inside of this purse for now are 
the sunglasses that I had before. Both pair. I actually ended up really liking both of them. So I know I was kind of like, mm, I don't know how I'm going to like them. Yeah. And all of my jewelry and waist beads and earrings. I didn't get a chance to wear these and my waist beads. So I'm going to put these back in here. Like I said, this was just a perfect little storage. And that way I know it's not going to get ruined or broken or um, tangled up or, you know, anything like that. And this is the two piece. This is the one that had the tie in the front instead of in the back. And then the bottoms, they have the tie that goes just on the one side. And so these are the bottoms. I ended up wearing this, like I said, it was real quick and just didn't get too much use out of this swimsuit, sadly. But again, I have another chance to wear it. So that worked out. And then the other swimsuit that I was telling you guys that I really love this one, this one turned out beautifully and it fit really good. So I'm gonna take this one as well. And then also the black one, I did not get a chance to wear the black one. So if, and when I say, when I'm speaking, I'm speaking as if you guys have kind of already seen that video, cause I don't know, I just assumed y'all seen it. Um, but this is the one that I said I was gonna put with this top. So yeah. So it's just like a crop top with like the jewels on it and then i'm gonna put it with this black bikini it's a really simple bikini it's not anything you know fancy or different to it um the sides do kind of like scrunch up the like elastic a little bit but other than that it's a regular bikini top regular bottom and i'm gonna put it over put this over the black and then i showed you guys this gold one regular bikini Again, nothing too special. These are the bottoms, okay? These are the bottoms. I'm only taking that, excuse me, I'm only taking that white cover up because again, just with considering the space that I have in this bag, I was not trying to bring two or three different cover ups, a cover up for each outfit or for each swimsuit. I just kept it how it was because that's just what was easier for me. So, I don't think you guys saw this swimsuit yet. So these are the bottoms, very different for me. I don't really, you know, do like green too much, but I thought it was different. And then this is the top. It fits more like a sports bra. And then it says beach vacation. And I thought it was real cute. So this was a set and this was also from Shein. And this is when I got that last order of everything with all of these bathing suits so this is the dress that i will be wearing to our dinner again this i never even mentioned it but this is a celebration trip for my cousin she just graduated from college so we wanted to do something and so this is the dress it's real cute it's real cute and then the bag is from princess polly but i ended up getting it from plato's closet so it actually ties up in the back it ties up right here and then there's another tie like right below it it's it fits really good my only concern with this dress has always been these um these straps on your shoulder they don't really have anything to hold on to so sometimes they slip down a little bit but sometimes it's okay but it's not too much to where it's like annoying so i don't really complain too much and as much as i like ball this dress up and whatever it never really gets too wrinkled like i've never had to like really iron this dress so i really like this and then my cousin said that she was wearing black shoes i was gonna wear a different pair of shoes actually the shoes that i wore with that dress for my birthday a couple years ago i was gonna wear those but again because of the size of, it's just a bulkier shoe don't get me wrong it's cute but i'm really trying not to have too much going on if I don't need to, you know? So I decided to do these black shoes. And like I said, once she said that she was wearing her black ones, I was like, I'm gonna just go ahead and do the black ones too. And then I'm just gonna put this purse on with it, which I just realized, I just realized that this tassel has come apart. So that's, that's not fun. 
I just realized that I was wondering what was falling from this dress. I mean, from this purse. But luckily, it's just like the one like on the inside that's going to be against my body. So it's not that big of a deal. But I'm just hoping that I don't have any issues with any other of with any of the other tassels. Um, so, yeah. So I said I wanted to pair it with that purse. Y'all don't come for my shoes, okay? They, they've been with me for a while. But these are them. And I have the shoe cushions on the inside. Once I put them on, you can't see them. So it looks a little, little raggedy right now, but it's totally fine. They're really comfortable. And I've been able to wear these for like, you know, some hours or so without being too uncomfortable. You know, it's not one of those type of shoes where it's like, you're like limping to the, to the car because your feet hurt so bad. Like it's not really those shoes now granted if you wear them for a long time yes but besides that it's good to go and then this is another set that i have from shein i actually had this one for a while um so this was not in anything recent that i posted so it's just one of these sets a two-piece set crop top situation and then these shorts they scrunch up on the sides and like this is the this is how they look. This is the front. So they just scrunch up so you can, you know, release this as much as you want. But I keep them exactly where they are right now. I actually double knotted it so I can make sure that it doesn't move when I wash it. So all I do is when I put them on, it's just tie these knots to pull this up some. And then that's it. But this set is really cute and comfortable. Yeah, y'all, at this point, so much of my clothes are Shein and Fashion Nova. It's like... It's ridiculous. <laughs> Speaking of Shein, so this is from them. This is one of my recent hauls that I did. And this is the unboxing that I did recently. And it's this top. As you can see, I have not worn it because this still has the paper on these chains. And this is the top. So it's a crop top with the open, the middle being open. And then the back of it is all white. And then just the one sleeve with this black so i thought this was real cute and then because i was like i don't want to do the most with this shirt because i am so simple and like inside of a little box sometimes when it comes down to fashion i was like i'm just gonna put some black shorts with it and because i wasn't too I wasn't too fond of like the shorts that I already had because I felt like they were fading a little bit. I ended up finding these from Forever 21 recently and they're like super like jet black. I need to run them with a lay roller so they look up white a little bit, but they are really like jet black, like really, really dark. They're not like that ashy like type of, type of look at all. So I'm also gonna be taking these sandals, which I recently got from, uh, where did I get these shoes from? I forgot where I got these shoes from, but I recently got them. Don't know how I forgot that fast, but they are just plastic shoes. I need to clean them on the inside because I was wearing them all last week. And really cute, comfortable, sort of, but, I had to buy some band-aids because as you can imagine this plastic started to like scrape against my skin on my big toe on both sides and it kind of peeled my skin back a little bit so that's the only thing that irritated me with these shoes so what i did like i said i bought these band-aids the small round ones to put on my toe in that area so that way i can wear my shoe and nobody would really notice so just a few things in this little bag that I have already. Again, I just went to Walmart, so I'm gonna show you guys what I've just bought. But I always bring some placards, some floss, and then I actually just packed this, which is my crochet needle, because a couple of my braids came out last week and I don't know how. So I was like, let me just bring this with me. And so, <laughs> yeah. And then I have my travel size pack of Q 
Q-tips and I'll put a little bit more in there because I still use this for home. Even though I have the bigger one and then I have this, I still reach for this when I need Q-tips. So I'm just gonna fill this up a little bit and then I have my toothpaste. This is just an extra one. This is not the one I use every day. I just ended up having a few of them. And then also I need to put this inside of my toothbrush holder that I just got from Walmart today. And then I have some spray on deodorant and I have a razor. So all of this stuff, this pouch was actually made for a travel size. Like it came with things in it, like a razor and floss and all that type of stuff. So that's why I feel like it fits all of this stuff just perfectly. And yeah, all of this stuff fit inside of my book bag just fine. And I even put my makeup bag inside of it too because I was like, let me just see how it fits versus me trying to fit it in there tomorrow before I leave. So everything fits just fine and we're good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Walmart. So I ended up having to get the travel size of contact solution i realized i don't think y'all know that but i wear contacts sometimes y'all might see me in my glasses i'm not so sure um but yeah travel size of the solution and then i also just bought some nair and i have not used nair in years but my cousin was telling me about veet she used it for her underarms and so i said that's what i wanted to do and i'm gonna give this a try i don't think i've ever used it under my arms so I want to try this out and see how this works. I'm not taking this, but this is just something I'm using tonight. And these are the band-aids that I was telling y'all about. And so it's just this square part that's, you know, going to be shown. But again, it's just that I'm not really concerned. Nobody should be staring at my feet that much that, you know. So I'm going to be wearing these. I'm just bringing a few of these just so... I can be comfortable wearing those shoes. Like that's the only reason why I even bought these. Like I don't need band-aids. I mean, you need band-aids, but you know what I mean? Like I can't tell you the last time I needed a band-aid. Like, I don't know. And so then I got the travel size body wash. This is the one by Dial and it's in the fragrance spring water. I don't use Dial, but they didn't have anything else. They did have the bar soaps, but I'm not a bar soap girl. So it was kind of like, I had to just take my pick either use dial that I don't use or use bar soap. So I just went with that. <laughs> I just went with that. So these are the toothbrush holders that I have. And so I'm just stick this in there and I'll just do that like that. Boom. If you don't know, because I just learned yesterday, I was just eight years old when I realized that the toothbrush holders are in the travel area at Walmart. So if you need a toothbrush holder, don't look where the regular toothbrushes and toothpastes are because you're going to be like, where are the toothbrush holders? You're just going to find them for the children. And they're going to end up looking like this. <laughs> they're going to look like this. And if you don't want this extra goofy looking one, then this will probably be your best bet and they are where all the travel size things are just so you know if you didn't know because i didn't know <laughs> i didn't know at all to be honest and every single time i went to walmart i'm thinking like oh hey they are either sold out or maybe they just don't have them i don't know i couldn't figure out why i couldn't find those things but that's where they are and they're 97 cents each look at god okay all right, and this doesn't really matter, but I just got this from Walmart because, I don't know, I feel like I kind of had like the sniffles a little bit. And also, um, I don't know what's going on, but like when I sleep, I'm coughing a lot. It's only when I sleep. So I don't know what's going on with, you know, um, my oxygen when I'm trying to sleep, but I find myself like coughing and having to get something to drink. So I don't know if that's a mixture of that with like the sniffles. I don't know. I don't know. So that's why I have that because I ain't nobody got time to be sick on vacation. And then I have the travel size of some mouthwash and also this cute little, um, what is this? 
<laughs> why did I forget what this was for a second? This cute little sunscreen. And yeah, y'all, I'm hoping the weather is really decent enough for us to really enjoy ourselves and not like feel like we can't, you know, sit back and relax, you know, on the beach. I also got some lotion and so this is the Jergens, the natural glow. I got this one. I actually did two lotions because I don't know. I might not take both of them, but I just felt like in the store, I felt like this wasn't big enough. So now that I have both, now I'm looking like, do I really need two of these for, do I go through that much lotion in three days? I, I don't. So I don't know. Then I got the Aveeno one. So I'll end up taking one of these. I'm not going to do the most. And what else did I get? Oh, that's all I got. But then I ended up getting this exfoliating hand mitt thing. And so um, this is not going with me. This is just something I'm keeping at home. Actually, when I got my wax, I was asking the wax specialist what is her favorite exfoliating scrub. And she said, I just use <laughs> a glove. So she said she just used regular shower gel with the glove and then that's it. She doesn't necessarily use a scrub. So I said, well, I still have a scrub, so I'm using a scrub and an exfoliating glove and that's what we are gonna do. So um, yeah, and then on top of that, I'm gonna be having my makeup bag, my regular old makeup bag. Y'all have seen this a million times. And honestly, it, it can't get any smaller than this. Like I, I can't see myself condensing my makeup to a smaller bag. I just, I just can't, you know what I mean? Um, I just can't. So this is gonna fit right on top of everything once I put everything back. As y'all can see, that's pretty much it. I don't have that much stuff because again, I'm just not about to overdo it to go to Myrtle Beach for um, three days. So that's <laughs> that, that's my wrapping up. I do want to show y'all the set that I am wearing to the airport though. And y'all saw this one in the last video that I just had. So that's this. I ended up wearing this to um, when we went ATV riding. So, turned out real cute, it's comfortable, it's not too tight, it's a really good size. So, I'm gonna be wearing this to the airport and I'm gonna show y'all the Adidas shoes that I was telling y'all about before. I'm gonna be wearing these, I just recently got these, I don't know, maybe about a month ago. Yeah, about a month ago. So, I forgot the name of them. What are the name of these? Do they even have the names of the shoe on the shoe? I don't know. So, I, I just got these, okay? I just got these. This is how they look from the side. Okay. She cute. She cute. Real comfortable. Highly recommend. If you want a closer look, highly recommend this shoe. Okay. I never even had a chance to try these on, but when I ordered them, I was like, I'm going to just hope they're true seven because I'm a seven and they turned out perfect. So I kind of want to get them in another color, but like I said, I'm going to wear these with that black outfit on the way to the airport and then i'm trying to debate on which hoodie i want to wear i almost bought a new one today but i was like no you know what i mean so um i'm gonna end up wearing a hoodie for the plane ride and that is about it <laughs> that is about it that i have for y'all it's really not too much because it's a lot it's a few less days um First day was, first time was six days. Now it's, you know, three. So it's like not nearly as much stuff. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you have not checked out my last video of me doing this hairstyle, make sure you check that out because that actually just reached, that video actually just reached 700 views. And I just posted that, that was on Monday. So, I appreciate y'all. Y'all are absolutely amazing. And the name of it is the $25 Boho Box Braids is what it's called. So make sure you check that out if you are interested in knowing how I got this style. 
and all of that jazz but i love y'all so much and y'all will be seeing way more pack with me's and with my bag and travel videos because i will be filming <laughs> i will be filming myrtle beach so be on the lookout for that that will probably be um, i'll try to put that out sometime mid next week because we get back on like sunday so i can't guarantee that it'll be out on monday no later than tuesdays that's what i really want to do so that way it's still out next week and it's you know good and fresh so um that's all i have for y'all please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all next time